Let's turn our Bibles to the book of Galatians chapter 5 once again. And we can see here in verse 16, it says, So I say, live by the Spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the sinful nature. And then we'll jump again to verse 25 where it says, Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Now we have been speaking about love and that's the first fruit that we are discussing. And these fruit of the Spirit are to be exemplified by the believer in any situation. So at school, at work, in the home, among friends. If the Holy Spirit's control and leadership is there in any scenario and in any situation, the believer will be able to um, reveal who the Father is through these fruit to even non-believers so that they will identify and see that there's something different. Now we have spoken of love and we have spoken already that this love is spirit driven. This love is not um, rooted in the flesh. It's not rooted in circumstance or situation, but rather it's spirit driven. And 1 John chapter 4 verse 19 tells us that we love because he first loved us and that is the basis of our study we love because he first loved us and we are extending this love according to first john chapter um, 4 verse 7 it says let us love one another for love comes from god we are defining love as caring and seeking for the highest good of another person without motive for personal gain Now, although this is a fruit of the Spirit, this is something we have the responsibility to develop. We have the responsibility to show love to those around us, to genuinely care for the well-being of those who are around us, to be concerned for them. And it stems beyond a feeling, but rather a firm decision to help others who are in need. John tells us, this instruction that we should love one another for three reasons that I want to talk about today. The reason that we should show love. First off, what we've already looked at is that God is love. This is his nature. You can also see this in verse 10 of the same chapter. This is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins. And this is the exact message that's written in John chapter 3 verse 16. He loved us first. And that is why we should display love to those around us. No matter the circumstance, display the love. And we should do this knowing the love of the Father and extend this to them. So that's number two. We know the love of the Father. We've experienced the love of the Father. That moment that you decide that you accepted Jesus and you are going to accept Jesus a real love dawns on you and that experience should be exemplified through us and shared with those around us again this is in the home with your friends with your family we should love one another because love comes from god and the third reason is because in doing this in loving one another god dwells within us He dwells among us, in our homes, in our ministry, in our workplace, and his love is perfected within us. And you can see this in verse 12. It says, no one has ever seen God, but if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. We've never seen God perhaps, but we have experienced his love. And if we love one another, if we care for one another, if we um, go beyond just a feeling but reach a decision to help those around us, the love of the Father is being made complete. The love of the Father is made complete when we show love to each other. So I encourage you to show love in the home, to show love among friends, Be careful with the words that we speak and allow the the love of the Father to be made complete in any situation that you may find yourself.